Hello everyone, this is Teacher Latoya from Woodrose International School. Our discussion for today is going to be on energy transfers, forms of energy, transformation of energy, and conservation of energy. Energy transfers. Energy cannot be destroyed. It simply transfers from one form to another or from one object to another. One example of this is fire in the firewood. It can be transferred into light energy, sound energy, and thermal energy. The light energy is what you see when you make the fire. Sound energy is the crackling of the wood that you hear. Thermal energy, this is the part that ends up giving us heat. Only part of the thermal energy is transferred to the fish to cook it. The rest is lost heating the air. We're going to learn more about this when we discuss conservation of energy. Another example of energy transfers is the one below. What are the main energy transfers for a car engine? It starts out as chemical energy from the fuel. That is now converted to kinetic energy, which allows the car to move. Sound energy, which you hear when the engine roars. Heat energy, which will be lost. Now let's discuss the different forms of energy or types of energy that we have. Chemical energy energy of a chemical substance elastic energy energy of a stretched or squashed object electrical energy is the energy carried by electricity gravitational potential energy is the energy of a raised object heat energy is the energy spreading out from a hot object kinetic energy energy of a moving object light energy is the energy spreading out from a bright object. Thermal energy is the energy of a hot object. Sound energy is the energy coming from a vibrating object. Transformation of energy. As I mentioned before, energy cannot be destroyed, but it can change form from one form to another or from one object to another. So let's discuss some of these energy transformations. Chemical energy which is found in a battery cell can be transformed into light energy in a flashlight. Chemical energy found in food can be transferred into mechanical energy which can allow you to have the energy to move a bicycle. Electrical energy can be transferred to heat energy which can be used to warm up food or work any other electrical appliance. Chemical energy from fuel can be used to move a car, to heat up the car, and to light up a car. Electrical energy can be transformed to light energy, which you can see in a light bulb. Light energy from the sun can be converted into chemical energy in the process of photosynthesis. Conservation of energy. Law of conservation of energy is also known as the principle of conservation of energy. It states that energy cannot be destroyed or created, which means that you cannot make energy nor can you get rid of it. Energy may change form, but the total amount remains the same, meaning that whatever amount of energy you put in at the beginning will be the same at the end just in different forms. Here we have a practical example of conservation of energy. A light bulb gives out light energy. It starts off as electrical energy at 100 joules. That energy is then converted into light energy at 75 joules. Now, we know that what is put in at the beginning should be equal to the output at the end. But here we have 175. 
So what happened to the rest of the energy? It simply got lost as heat energy. We all know that when you put on a light in the room, eventually the room will start to warm up. That it means that some of the electrical energy was converted into light energy. If you are asked how much of the energy was lost as heat, it's simple. 100 minus 75 joules will give you 25 joules, which was lost as heat. Thank you so much for watching my video.